Okay. Very good. <clears throat> All right. And then, let's see. All right. So we will begin with Dear Mother, Father, God, Divine, Infinite Spirit, Source of all that is. I ask to be, we ask to be connected to you, to our higher self, and to the higher self of each other. We ask for the assistance of the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the Reiki masters. Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Katumi, Saint Francis, Saint Germain, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael, Saint Michael, the Blessed Mother, the Divine Feminine, Mary Magdalene, Moses, Metatron, and Melchizedek. We ask to be cleared Centered, aligned, balanced, and grounded. We also ask to be clear channels of light for Metatron and his healing angels so that we each receive the highest vibrations of light possible. We also ask for the assistance of the great rays, the lords and masters of the rays, and the archangels of the rays. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus the Christ, and in the name of I Am. Amen. Amen. Okay. The, okay. And now I'm going to repeat an exercise that I did with the last class for those of you who weren't here. And uh, let's see, I think if I sit there, we can see, I can see you, <laughs> Georgia. And uh, the, um, what I have with this is for you to take a a visualization of your bedroom and just see yourself walking into your bedroom and see yourself going to the ceiling and feel the ceiling against your head and feel the wall against your face so that you're up in the corner of the ceiling. So when I say the word, place your consciousness, that's basically what I'm talking about, is I want you to do exactly what you've just done now with the visualization of, what, of where you are in your bedroom. Was everybody able to feel that? Was everybody able to, to be in the corner in their ceiling? Okay. Yes. All right. Super. Um, now I'm going to take you through the dimensions of, uh, it's just a very short guided uh, imagery meditation. And I just want to take you through layers of dimensions so that we actually touch into the angelic realm. And um, so again, very gently close your eyes. And take your consciousness to your crown and see your crown opening up like a giant satellite dish. And you will notice that there is light streaming into your crown. And you're going to take your crown 
and you're going to ascend in that light. To the point where you see yourself out of this building out of this county out of Virginia and out of the United States. And you are fast receding from the earth and you continue experiencing going up to where the earth becomes a tiny speck. And now you see the solar system. And now you see the galaxy. And now you see multiple galaxies and they are converging. And you are entering the dimension that Mother Earth is ascending to. You are entering the fifth dimension. and negativity still lives there. But you don't stay there. You leave that. You go into the sixth dimension. There is no negativity. This is the dimension of the Christ Consciousness. go into the seventh dimension. This is the dimension of the Ascended Masters. And you go into the eighth dimension. This is the dimension of light. where all spiritual beings travel through. And you go into the ninth dimension. There is nothing but light. And now we're going to bring ourselves back through the eighth, through the seventh, through the sixth, through the fourth, through the third. And we see the galaxies and other solar systems, and then we see our solar system.
and we spot our blue planet. And we go, and the planet gets closer, and pretty soon we see the continent of North America. And we come to the east coast. We hone in on Virginia. And we see Northern Virginia. And we find our building. And we come back through. And we are back in our chair. Was everybody able to do that? Okay. All right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to do two more exercises. This is, one is going to be to open your third eye. One is going to be to open your throat. Um, one of these is is actually an excellent exercise for you. Uh, in if anybody, if your doctors say that possibly you might be get coming down with glaucoma or cataracts, uh, this is an exercise that will actually help you. So just take your eyes to the uppermost extreme top that you can take them to, but you're holding your head still. So just your eyes are going to the top. And then very quickly to the side and very quickly to the bottom, very quickly to the other side, very quickly to the top. Did you feel the strength of that? Okay, so we're gonna do that three times in one direction and then three times in the other direction. Okay, so to the top, the right, the bottom, to the left, to the top, to the right, to the bottom, to the left, to the top, to the right, to the bottom, to the left, to the top. Now we're going to reverse it. To the top, to the left, bottom, right, top, left, Bottom, right, top, left, bottom, right. Okay. If your eyes hurt, that's also another exercise that will actually help them uh, from uh, not hurting. And uh, another thing with eyes, this is a, a trick the models use, um, cucumber slices really gives them a lot of relief because we have eye strain and we don't even know we have eye strain, you know, because we're, uh, we're so wrapped up in, in, in what we do. Okay, the, the next exercise that I want you to do is see yourself as a clock. You're standing in the middle of the clock and I want your head to fall forward to position 12 this is for your throat. And then move to position one, two, three. So you're kind of looking up. Four, five, six. Your throat is completely exposed. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. But really pretend you're a turtle and really pull as you do that. So we go to 12, 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we reverse. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twelve. All right. Was anybody not able to feel the uh, the the strain of that? I mean, you okay? So, all right, good. Um, then, what we're going to do next is have we're going to start our channeling. And um, you need paper? Amy? You're good. Okay. All right. Everybody has something to write on. And everybody has a pen? Okay, because I, I have extras. All right. And um, before we start, though, I, let's see, where's this guy? Um, I just want to go around the room and make sure I have your names. So I know Joe. Kelly. Kelly. Okay. Joanne. Joanne. Okay. And I know Tim and Georgia. And again, give give me Barbara. Barbara. Jessica. Okay, Jessica. There is a method to my madness. Michelle. <laughs> Erica. Erica. And you've been coming to Ray, so I know that. Mm -hmm. And then Ray. And Crystal. then Amy. And Crystal. Okay. Linda. Oh, Linda. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, because... The um, uh, I just feel it's it's really really important to uh, have everybody's name. Uh, I've I've always felt that. So anyway, uh, all right. So the the very first being that I want you to channel, and uh, like I said, this is a natural part of who you are. One of the things that you, uh, that those of you who study A Course in Miracles know is that you have two minds inside of you. You have the ego mind and you have the spirit mind. And the ego mind is the, the louder voice inside your head. It's the voice that's always churning and always on the go and always trying to uh, uh, drown out the spirit voice. 
spirit's voice is always there too. And the only thing is with spirit's voice, it's very, very quiet. It's very subtle, but it's, it's there. And the beauty with the channeling is that this is not a thinking exercise. This is hearing, feeling, sensing, tasting, anything else that, that comes through. It's not a thinking exercise. So when I ask you to start, just immediately start to write what it is that is coming through you. Don't judge it. Don't question it. Don't uh, censor it in any way, shape, or form. Okay? So I'll start you out by just have asking you to visualize your crown opening and again becoming like a satellite dish and now I want to visualize an angel coming towards you and take sight of what the angel is going to tell you. Listen to it and ask it for whatever message that you wish and you will have two minutes. So begin. Jill, let's we'll start with you. Okay. Um, I was taken to a green field. Okay. And the, the message that I got was, <clears throat> go to a green field where wild flowers grow, lay down on the grass and look up, higher up, 
try to look deeper into the blue of the sky until you see the purple light where chaos ends and peace begins. You will find your answer there. Yes, all, all will be well and always call for bright light. Fabulous. And I think the word bright light means something very special to you. Yes. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, because the next exercise that we're going to try, I'm going to have you ask who's talking to you. I didn't ask you to do that this time. Um, but uh, if you ask, they'll tell you. And again, but uh, for, for right now, I didn't, I, I didn't have you do that. So do you have a sense of who was talking to you? St. Michael? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's who I felt. Yeah. Yeah, so excellent. Okay, Kelly. Um, so I, I asked a question because I think you were supposed to ask them, say, what's my life purpose? Okay. Um, and what I got is you're a being of light, here to spread love, drive out fear in others. This is your greatest strength, your courage. Your name means this, warrior. Your purpose is to shine light on darkness, burn it up so that it does no harm to God's children. You know many who are in fear, and these have been placed in your life intentionally. Wonderful. And you do have people in your life that are fearful. Mm -hmm. And you're, if, to me, you feel like you're like the rock of Gibraltar for them. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah, yeah that's, that's excellent. Super. Joanne. Mine uh, was, trust you are ready, and you'll get more information. You are safe. You are on your way. Trust in the process ahead of you. It is right and good to fulfill your life's destiny. And the universe requires this of you. Excellent. Super. Does that feel comforting to you? <coughs> yeah. That's, that's what it feels like to me. Very comforting. So, excellent. Tim. I'm not sure we're supposed to ask a question or wait. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Uh-huh. Um, you can ask a question. You can wait. It Truly, it's okay. it's whatever shows up for you. Okay, but I just got to be fine. It would be wonderful. Aww. Okay. Was he in an accident? No, he's he's married, but he's almost a little bit blind. But his wife's doing the right thing. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> he's happy about it. Oh yeah. 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 Wonderful. Good. Georgia. Um. I got you are loved. We all are with you through this trying time. Okay. And the trying time is referring to what, what Tim was talking about or something else? Something else. Okay. All right. That's, that's super. That also feels very comforting to you. So, excellent. Barbara. Just listen to the song. Lucy was a friend of mine. A voice all of you guys have done that. Who's that voice? Um, um, a friend of mine who died a long time ago. And um, she and I came together and saw each other just for that short day. Mm. And she was going, hey, you. <laughs> and we were so busy smiling and laughing. You know, she was close. <laughs> and talking until we almost didn't get anything done. But she says um, that she's been trying to reach me before. And um, I believe her. <laughs> and she says that I will be fine because I had asked her about the voice and the whole bit there, and she said I'll be fine. You had asked her about the, the my voice. Is, are, are you having laryngitis or is it no, worse? No, I had my thyroid and a huge goiter taken out. Mm -hmm. Oh, and bless the goiter was so big and so busy stretching down here. Mm. And stretched the left side of my vocal cords. Oh my God! And that was recent. Yes. Yeah, because it was a few weeks ago, yesterday. Wow, wow! Bless your heart. Well, you're. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. No, heal, healing is there. Healing is there. So, excellent. Wow, Jessica. Um, my question was just how to stay focused how to focus and stay on my path. I got images of an animal or other creature, a bug leg. Um, I got 
real healing words of trust, um, water, blue water, um, and then it's a whisper. Um, and I felt like it was my spirit guide, Nat, um, who I was told is my spirit guide, but haven't connected with him that much before. Hmm. Is he a young person? A younger, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's the sense that I have, just young. So anyway, no, that's um, very good. Thank you. Michelle. I asked a very specific question. Mm -hmm. um, I asked, is Gorgon still with me? And I did hear, you know, just like a whisper. Okay. Um, just a, something that's been with me for a while, just the, the wings, the light wings. Um, I don't know if that's actually my guide, but it's like it's kind of a symbol. Um, and I asked, is Derek still there and there wasn't an answer but it was just like um all of a sudden everything just went white mm. um so i just left it at that mm -hmm. so i had an answer to a specific question i was concerned about but, okay um, super excellent erica um i saw archangel jophiel mm. and then um she said um keep things simple bare bare basics let go of thoughts encumbrances you don't need keep Coming back to yourself, let go of everything that preoccupies you. Come back to simple presence. Um, be as basic and simple as you can. Discard everything you don't need. Stay away from vexations. You are blessed. Angels and guardians are, or guides are around you. The more you dispose of and let go, the more you will be able to sense them. Wow. That's an archangel you work with a lot. You know, B, she mentioned... Carlton. She had mentioned Joe Field to me like a month ago. Okay. So I do call on her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, at least that. She's very helpful to me. Yeah. That it feels that way to yeah. me that that she's around you a lot. Mm. There's something about her mm -hmm. and your energy that totally matches. Mm. You know. So. Yeah. yeah, I need that message. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Plus, you're wearing her favorite color of blue, the oh, the turquoise. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. Okay, very good, Erica. Ray. So the angel that showed up was Hera. Um, I'm moving towards a greater destiny change in my express in my ex expression in the next two weeks. And fundamental to achieving your true self to release the teaching that you offer and to all the physical universe to change to accept this gift. And information be at peace and be calm this is your goal your what you truly are and what your true self is so, not bad very good <laughs> <laughs> and again push 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 always pushing you <laughs> since i'm heading off to tuscany to go to this like 10-day retreat so really oh we'll see in italy yeah tuscany yeah, lovely, lovely, wonderful. Well, you'll have to give us a report on that when when you're the back. Wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the wine. Okay. No, that's a wonderful message, and lots of it. Amy. Uh, so I, my vision that I saw was uh, an angel like Glenda the Good Witch, and I think you said that. Mm. Um, uh, hello, dear. We love you. You are working hard and studying and learning growing and advancing please do not feel frustrated if you do not advance at the pace you would prefer you should stop trying to plan out all the details and just let it happen have faith and trust that it will all work out for the best and highest good excellent hold on to that Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think uh, one of the things she's reacting to is like uh, when you want something, you want it now. <laughs> All of it now. <laughs> so anyway, hold on to that. That's okay. telling you to be patient. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. Linda. Okay. My question was, um, my granddaughter's getting ready to graduate into um, the school year, and it's uh, August 
how do I best get through the next few weeks? Mm. It's rather stressful. Mm -hmm. So that's a good point. Um, so I don't know if there are any other questions. Hello, Linda. We are glad you are writing again. Because I used to write two years ago. Mm. You must relax your mind more. You worry too much. And it interferes with our messages. We want you to focus and think. It will all come through easier for you. To you, the more you practice, it is going to get easier when you come closer to God. Focus and ask and follow the instructions we, we give you. Love everyone. Put positive energy wherever you go. We love you and we will support you. Excellent. And what I'm seeing for you, uh, that that is a message that should actually be um, written in maybe, uh, what would that be, 21 mm -hmm. type, mm -hmm. the 21 point, mm -hmm. and framed. And put where you can almost like look at it daily because um, you've got en enough stresses and that's a very, there's a lot of calm, calm tone in that. And that, that will, it's almost like it's a balm for your soul, mm -hmm. you know. So I think if you continue to reread that, um, okay. yeah, and, and I think that that would be great. That's a wonderful message for you. Crystal. Um, I don't know what angel it was. I'm sure it was an angel, but she gave me a message saying that um, you should spend more time with us. We've missed you. You wonder why you feel displaced on earth. It's because you are spirit first and you belong with us. Um, we have many answers and knowledge for you. You just have to ask. Excellent. A little reminder. Yes. <laughs> a little reminder. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, um, the, the beauty is that everybody gets what they need. Everybody gets something a little bit different, but you get exactly what you need. And uh, the quickest way to reach spirit is through writing. And every time I hear somebody say, I hate to write, and I'm thinking, oh my God, then ask angels just to give it to you, just give you the information and take it down, you know, so that because the messages then just come through you. They don't come from you. They come through you. And uh, the other, the best way for you to continue to receive wonderful messages, set a time daily, same time, so that they kind of know and they're gathered there waiting for you. So if you say 7 o'clock in the morning, you show up at 7 o'clock in the morning. What, whatever that is, if, if 12 noon works for you, do that. If nighttime works for you, um, I know by 1030, I'm going to bed. Some people are just waking up, you know, or, or starting to feel like, oh, they've, they've really come to life. Uh, so whatever time is right for you, use that time. But try to do this daily. Is that that's one of the things that uh, when I was channel, I mean, when I was writing reams of of pages, I literally w would be channeling for two and three hours at a time. So, unfortunately, that time usually was two to four a.m. I wasn't <laughs> crazy about that, but that's when I got woken up, and that's when I had to go to the computer because the messages wouldn't shut up, and so. And it was like when they were finished, it was almost like the, you know, you know, at the end of the movie, you know how the screen goes fuzzy mm -hmm. or the end of the broadcast day. That's what happened to me. I no longer heard anything. It just went fuzzy. But until I heard it, I had to I had to keep typing as fast as I could or writing. You know, it didn't matter, you know, it, and everything. But the thing is to commit to spirit's work. And you will also find that those mysterious, well not mysterious, no, not mysterious, uh, the troublesome things that keep repeating in your life, you can just ask them about it and they will give you a perspective that is a hundred percent different from what your ego mind will give you. And it will just open up a whole different meaning for you and it will give you uh, almost like uh, consolation for what you 
uh, what might have really infuriated you or uh, upset you or, um, you know, just uh, whatever, you know, discombobulated you. Uh, but they will give you a different point of view, a different perspective. And uh, I know that one of the things that I always do when I have a dream and the no matter how it is, I will write the story of the dream and then I'll take it apart scene by scene and I ask for the meaning of each scene and then I listen for the answer and by the time I get their interpretation for what my dream is, it's like nowhere close to what I would have thought the dream meant. Because I've had some pretty <laughs> horror stories for dreams, you know. <laughs> and uh, there are times where I, I, I know when I have my dream of frustration, where I, where I keep chasing the same thing, or I can't unlock a door, or I can't get to where I'm going, and everything. I know the meaning of that, and hopefully that will will, will stop now, uh, because I'm finally getting a book that I had worked on for 20 years. Oh it's getting published. <laughs> so, yeah. Finally, finally, finally. I signed the contract for publishing today. Ooh, and uh, so, thank you. But the, just the editing process, and this is, bear in mind, I've been editing it for like um, 14 years. Um, but the editing process professionally took me from October till practically uh, a couple of days ago. What's the name? Own Your Power. It's, it's on my business card. So it's Own Your Power Day by Day, 365 Meditations for Clearing Emotional, Mental, and Spiritual Blockages to Becoming Your Higher Self. Everybody needs one of those. Right. <laughs> so basically, um, a meditation for every day. So it's, it's uh, 754 pages. Wow. wow. Obviously, a lot of editing. <laughs> so, but, uh, and the, the price in paperback will be twenty five ninety nine. I know through Amazon it's going to be cheaper because it's going to be, uh, the, um, uh, the Wichimajig, the, uh, um, uh, what is it, ebook? Ebook is going to be, um, seven ninety nine. And I know Amazon, but Amazon, uh, the, on Balboa Press it'll come out in, uh, 10 days to a week to two weeks, uh, and Amazon, it takes two months, so everything. But every single time I had a dream of frustration, I thought, I know what you're telling me. I know what you're telling me. So, but uh, anyway, uh, hopefully those those will stop because they, you know, they, they put it this way. If you have a mission to do, Ray, on this planet, they won't let you go. That, you know, if you have a soul contract that says you you promise to do something, 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 something on, on this earth, they will keep after you until you fulfill that. And Kelly, you were the one who asked about life purpose, mm -hmm. right, yeah. and everything. So uh, if you're asking the question, there's something really important in that answer, you know. So um, pay attention, you know, because it's um, – anyway – Okay, our next one, we are going, and this time I want you to ask who's talking to you. You can start writing, but uh, again, um, this, now just, just for a few seconds, just very gently close your eyes, and again, open your crown to where it's like a satellite dish, and you are simply receiving Visualize an ascended master. This can be a saint, any culture. This can be Jesus, Mary, St. Francis, anybody. It could be a member of your family, any country, any continent. And the person who is going to come in is coming in with a gift for you and I do want you to see open the box that they're going to present to you and see what's in that gift it could be a virtue it could be a warning 
It could be an attitude. It could be a crystal. And ask for a message from them. And begin. Okay, Crystal, we're going to start with you. Um, I got who's talking to me. He's an, an ascendant master, but he's also an ancestor, hmm. an ancient ancestor. Of mine. Excellent. Um, he, he, I assume it was a guy. Um, he said that he'd come bearing not only gifts of wisdom, but he had like a big box of crystals. Lovely. And uh, he says that these crystals have helped our people throughout the years, and we rely heavily on crystals to guide us in our day-to-day -day lives. Excellent. And crystal, do you work personally work with crystals? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a message for you to begin. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, my understanding is if you buy one, by amethyst. If you buy two, oh. buy amethyst and okay. rose quartz. Okay? okay, if you don't have any at all, because okay. those two kind of cover so many healing, uh, you know, psychic, protective healing. Okay. You know, so okay, good. those those are the two. Okay, Linda. Okay, I noticed a couple of identifiers. The gift that they gave me was a crystal bowl, and they said they want me to put. They said, "When um, we want, we give you this crystal bowl. We want you to put all of your new um, questions in this bowl. So as you feel a need, um, write it down, put it in the bowl, and then um, meditate, and you'll begin to write the answers. All of the answers will come to you, which will help you put your worries in the background while you progress through this journey." Excellent. Do you have any crystals? I do. You do? Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we talked about that. All right. Excellent. 
Yeah, and his crystals are super powerful. Uh, do you all know who John of God is? Okay. The um, when I went to Abujanya, uh, Linda went to Abujanya um, about three, four years ago. I couldn't get over the uh, the kind of the quantity of crystals. I knew a lot came from Brazil. I had seen the world's largest rose quartz when I was in Hawaii. Hawaii. Um, but I had never seen quite as many large crystals as I did at John of God. Uh, and the energy from them was just, it was palpable. And seeing all these uh, people uh, walking around in white also, um, it was something just magical. If you, if you even remotely are interested in, uh, you know, Google him um, to too many qualities to to kind of go through him but basically he's a psychic surgeon and he will physically make cuts into you reach into your body maybe take out an eyeball clean it up put it back or make an incision take out a tumor just kind of pat it and effectively there's no blood there's no you know there's there's no stitches and it's healed and uh, he started out at age 14 channeling one entity through him and now channels 1400 yeah 1400 entities actually work through him specifically to what the disease is going through like some are doctors perhaps exactly some are, yeah, do doctors from this planet. Some are doctors from other planets, uh, and everything. John, John of God. God, John of God. He's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And he, uh, when I saw him, I saw him twice. I saw him in Atlanta, and he said, "I admire you, Americans." He said, "Because my people." physically want to have proof. They want me to do things physically. Where here, he basically, all he did was hold, put his hand on, on people. He did not do any, any surgery. Uh, but, you know, when you go to Abujanya or in other uh, places in South America, uh, wherever he travels in South America, which I'm not sure he does travel. He went to Peru. I don't know if he's, if he's traveling as much as he used to. As he used to. Yeah, because he's... And he comes to Omega, but Oh, yeah, yeah, and and uh, they at least at least once, sometimes more than once, and uh, everything. Yeah, so he's he's. If you can't go to Brazil, um, uh, you can see him there. But I would encourage you to go to Brazil. The the uh, the crystals there, the whole town. It's an itty bitty town. It's poor as dirt, but uh, the. Um, but the crystals are phenomenal, the, you know, that uh, you see. And uh, the energy from the crystals are absolutely phenomenal. So Lemurian different, too. Lemurian crystals. Are from Brazil. from Brazil. Interesting. And he can have as many as 2,000 people, up to 6,000. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, there's just going to be a few people. <laughs> right, right. So you, I, I think it's helpful to have a guide if he does come in. Mm -hmm. Did you see it? I don't know if that was your experience. I actually had a gal who lived there, who was my first yes. client, right. uh -huh. and she lived in, in uh, Brazil, <coughs> so yeah. she knew Portuguese, so right. she was like a personal guide. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to go with with a group, but um, anyway, there's uh, lots of options. Kathy South, uh, locally, goes four times a year, you know, so. And she brings that bed up there, too. The crystal bed. The crystal bed's been yeah. upstairs. Mm -hmm. Right. Here. Yeah. to Intuitive Wellness Center. Yeah. yeah. Very, very, very powerful healing and everything. So anyway, um, all right, crystals are on your itinerary, you know, so work with them. Work with them. Amy. Uh, so Jesus came through, brought my grandma, who gave me a gift of a green bucket with a perfect sand dollar in it. And she said, do you want to roll me to hunt shells on the beach? And she said, look for a sand dollar this July uh, when you get married at the beach, and that's my gift to you. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. I can see it already waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. 
And uh, Amy will be marrying uh, and having a blended family of five, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. Two, two of your, three, three of, of yours, mine. and two of his. So, okay. yeah. So, and yeah. <laughs> what, what did you say? He said he's seen that show. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. But it's lovely that that Jesus came in with your grandmother. That's beautiful. Beautiful message. And Ray. Uh, Matt and Jerome came in, and we had some scrolls from the year and year and year where I'll be preaching and be downloaded to the uh, next couple of weeks. Excellent. Excellent. I, I can see a lot of sacred geometry in them. So symbols that I don't understand. You know, hopefully you will. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Erica. When I saw Jesus, he had a, a box and it was full of blessings. He said, notice the blessings and you will, and they will multiply. Um, gratitude is contagious. Um, I am blessing you. You're being blessed by many angels and divine beings right now. Open your eyes and see them. You are very blessed. Excellent. Believe it. Yeah, absolutely believe it. That's that's a beautiful message, Michelle. Um, the same the same theme was there a white hole in the floor mm. was a gift and somebody pushed my head down slowly that happens sometimes. Um, ISIS came up, but I don't know if that was just me judging or if I really heard that. Well, I'll believe it. You know, you know, you know choice no need to know okay okay yeah isis uh it's interesting because she's the again the the equivalent of the blessed mother in the middle east and it's interesting how uh because isis the terrorist group still invokes her name so it's a way of getting her name out there and uh, because they call it ISIL or ISIS. And uh, every single time, I, of course, immediately think of the Blessed Mother when I see the word and send light to the, you know, the situation. But uh, anyway, very powerful, Michelle. Thank you. All right. And Jessica. Um, I was seeing my mom. She gave me a gift of a pink flower said it is everything everything's going to be okay i love you it is essential to wander your past life's energy and come to find the beauty about the heavens and the earth she asked me why i'm taking her and i was i asked to escape and, and not have even thought of excellent wonderful is your mother in spirit yeah she is okay because once in a while Somebody shows up who's not in spirit. Mm -hmm. They just show up. And uh, so, again, trust that, okay. you know, if, if you ever get that. Um, but anyway, thank you. That's very touching. Barbara. Uh, that's for another meditation. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's for another meditation. Great. Georgia. Ariel came, but then my Aunt Beverly came out of the corner <laughs> with a box. And it was a beautiful box carved, and I opened it, and she just said it, it had a rose quartz, an amethyst, and a clear crystal in it. And she just said, you need to meditate more. <laughs> <laughs> and those are three perfect stones. Yeah. Because, again, uh, and all the stones have something, but you, you practically cover every range of what you need with those three. You know, so good message, mm -hmm. Tim. Um, there's Rose, my uncle, 
Bill. Uh, he gave me, it was like a cedar box, but it was in the shape of the tree of life. And then when I opened it, it was just a little thing, so I had a diploma and certificate that's wrapped. Um, I didn't know what diploma or certificate was. And then he just said, you're on the right path. And continue to enjoy nature and live it. Excellent. Yeah. And you got a new lease on life. So you're, yeah, 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 absolutely enjoy. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Joanne. When I closed my eyes, I immediately saw a red rose and it started to unfold. Mm. And um, my grandma's name is Rose, but it felt like that's who was speaking to me. Mm -hmm. And um, she's always represented protection and kindness. Excellent. Thank you. And she was very special to you. Yeah. Thank you. Kelly. Um, well, when I closed my eyes and you're talking about like a bunch of different parties started flashing Jesus, Mother Mary, Padre Pio, um, Angel Ayla that hangs around me a lot. Angel Ayla. 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 Ah. Which there's a long story that I, uh, a crazy story how I found that out. But anyway, um, I was so I was kind of confused, like who is it? But that's a common thing with me. Like mm -hmm. I never really know. I know somebody's talking to me, but I don't know who it is. Okay. Um, at this point, it was though I said who got Mother Mary, and the gift that she said she was giving me was joy. And Good. she said, "You're my beautiful daughter. I'm always here for you. You're under my protection. I will always be sheltered from any serious harm." You may ask me to help any other person, and I will. This is my promise to you. Lovely, lovely message. And uh, did you ever play the Blessed Mother in high school? or? No, but I'm consecrated to the Blessed Mother. Okay, so. you're very close to her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because your even your hair, flowing mm -hmm. hair, reminds me of her. You know, <laughs> so, no, that's, that's a beautiful message. All right, Joe. Uh, it was Jesus who came, <clears throat> and in the box there was a blue book, which is the blue the the book of answers. Ooh, I could always use that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and um, he said, um, "Saint Michael is and will be with you forever, always. He will give you power and protect you and." all those you love. He will guard you and bring you all together. Trust in St. Michael. You have been chosen. You are special. We need you to fulfill our purpose, our purpose in, on earth. Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Do you believe it? Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah, really, that's, that's, that's very important. And what, what was the statement you made? Amy, I didn't quite. Oh, I hear. think that's a good book to read. Oh, that's a good book to read. <laughs> <laughs> the the answers, answers to everything. <laughs> I would right. share with you. Okay. Right. Is that on Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> e <-book. Yeah>. Kindle. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right. Um, who? Okay. So the Linda, Amy, and Joe. Since you were here a month ago, did you do any channeling at home? I've been doing, I, I keep waking up mm -hmm. around the same time every night. Good. It's between 2 and 3 in the morning. Usually right. it's 2.42. Oh. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and uh, I can't sleep, but I, am, I don't get up. So I just start channeling while I am in bed. Okay. And uh, sometimes I get very strange. I don't. It feels like I am dreaming, but I am not. Yeah. And last week it was something very, very strange. And I actually reached out to Ray because he was on. In, in uh, yeah, that message? Yeah, I was channeling. Not the dream she asked about the next day. Yeah. Wow. It was, I was channeling uh, the angels. I, okay. I didn't mind, uh, you know. And then suddenly... Um, I was in this room. I was brought in this room, but every, everything was in sepia color. It was, mm. and Ray was there. 
Mm -hmm. And then he was standing and I was standing, probably we were talking, but somebody came inside and it was this person who had a totally round face, Mm. very round and he didn't have any hair or any brows. And he made a gesture as if he was going to kneel down for me. In so, front of yeah, you. In front of me. As like an homage. Yes. Uh, pos- yeah, okay. Yes. So I I approached him because I thought he shouldn't do that. But as he kneeled down, he took my hand and pulled me down hmm. and then brought me to the floor. Hmm. And I was paralyzed. And then he put a key on my hand. He closed my fingers and he left the key there. And I was I was saying, Ray, Ray, do something. And Ray was standing there like a statue <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> so when she called Thanks. me the next day, I channeled into it to uh-huh. see what she's thinking. Yes. And the um, and I couldn't move. I was like, you know, my knee, my right foot's going to. But he didn't kick him. know that yeah. I was. But I couldn't. Paralyzed. I couldn't move. Yeah. Wow. I was paralyzed too. Wow. So it was a force field that he was using. He did some kind of force. Yes, on and yeah. this is something that when we just started, and you say sometimes a negative yeah. energy comes. That's what Ray got. I I didn't know, but it was funny because. He didn't know that we were paralyzed, but he said, I am seeing us. We are paralyzed. <laughs> it was so. Um, yeah, that, that is intriguing. That was, and I couldn't move. When I, when I woke up, I, I was still not able to move well, but I knew it was not a dream. It was, a, it, it, it was a, at that moment, 242, when I wake up every day. Oh interesting. Interesting. All right. Um, before you go to bed at night, uh, that I I have a little gratitude journal, and um, it's a, it's a fancy journal. It was given to me as a gift, um, but you can get them for five bucks sometimes yeah, at yeah. Tuesday morning, you know, <laughs> and it uh, so or or ten dollars. Get that and and write at least five gratitudes. Okay. Before you go to bed, do not look at the news. If, if you're in the habit of looking at news, cut that out. Do not look at news. Because my understanding is that the last thoughts on your mind is where you end up in. That's where you go. So somehow or other, something caused you to bring you to into some kind of fear space. Okay. You know, some kind of fear space. And that you don't have to have that you know if if you if you close your night with and i i basically just say thank you god yeah. you know as as my last words mm-hmm. and um because the last words my mother spoke to me on the face of this earth was may god help you oh. so uh because i was at the time of her death I was nine months pregnant. She died 11 days before my baby was mm. born, my firstborn. Um, we were in the process of losing our company. We had rental properties to support, our his mother to support, and our house to support. And Bob effectively lost his job. I lost my job. We had to close our company. And we um, were in, uh, well dire financial straits. I mean, that's the only way to put it. Mm-hmm. About as bleak as I've ever been in my life. But I knew that I had this baby coming and that I couldn't succumb to depression. I had a child that was counting on me. And so effectively, I looked around for something to help me. <coughs> and what I found, uh, which was my saving grace, was The Power of Positive Thinking by uh, Norman Vincent Peale. And I read that book six times over. I mean, every night I read it, every, you know, before I went to bed, I'd underline it, I'd highlight it, I'd uh, do whatever. So effectively, if whatever is going on in your life, uh, because basically there's problems. This is, you know, we come to earth to solve problems, basically. So find a way to go to bed in 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 a, a, a restful place, in a restful place, peace, you know, place in your mind. 
um, because then the night will the uh, angelic beings and um, God and the universe kind of will bring you to a place where um, you'll be given answers, you'll be given consolation, you'll be given uh, something to help you, you know, with this. So, but Amy, did you um, do any practicing? Yes, I do. I have a gratitude journal. I okay. I do every night. It's totally exhausted for me to do, but right. I try anyway. But, but um, typically when I wake up at night, which I do at times, I'm at the same time, you know, same time every night. Every Between night. Two, 2 and 4? Well, yeah, just, I mean, the same time for me. A lot of times it's like 4, 4, 4 or something. Yeah, but, um, exactly. I just, I first thing I do when I wake up, Joy and glory. It's the first thing that runs through my mind, whatever. Because if it, and, and if anything ever else ever tries to come into my mind, I just bump it out with that. Excellent. Yeah, so. Excellent. And then it you, works. you, <laughs> yeah, you will write down the messages that come in. Then. Yes. Excellent. Super. Yeah. Linda, how about you? Um, I've been writing, um, not daily, but I do keep waking up at four o'clock. I just have to force myself to pull the pad out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But I mean, it's, it's like clockwork. Yeah, okay. it's a, that's something yeah. that it's the same time. Yeah. And I do feel uh, since uh, since we did, and, and I I do try to, you know, even through the day, energy runs really quickly. Yeah. E energy runs really, and, and it's really, really strong. And one thing, too, uh, you're, you're talking about just energy in, yeah. in general. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but one thing with words um, you have to capture it as it comes in because don't presume that if they give you something in the middle of the night that you're going to be able, even if you repeat yeah. it to yourself and repeat it and repeat it, you're going to be able to capture it. Yeah, that's true. Don't presume that. Yeah. It doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. it, you have to capture it. So anyway, um, all right, we're going to do another one. And this time, ah, Okay, so very gently close your eyes and open your crown. Let's see it as a thousand petal lotus and see it as points of light. These are all the virtues that you're bringing forward through your lifetime. And you are going to, I'm asking that you visualize your higher self, that part of you that never left God. And it's the part of you that stays connected to God no matter what is happening in your life. And it's the part of you that is there, obviously, to help celebrate your joys but to calm your fears and to balm your sorrows. And what does your higher self want you to know? And begin.
Barbara, I think we'll start with you and then go to Jessica and come around this way. I say that louder. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, I didn't know who was talking here, but they said you were not capable of being approved. Your higher self. Yes, your higher self. Your higher That's self. Right, you said that. That's right. I got so deep in that last part. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's um, great. It says trust yourself. And the part that I got deep in is I saw my son very clearly. And he said, yeah, mom. And that's what I got. Uh, <laughs> my son's crossed over. Uh, <laughs> that's lovely. Trust that yourself. Is, that is lovely. Yeah. That's important. And that's, I think, why I had to start with you first. You saw me looking at my son going, oh. Yeah, fabulous. Oh, my God. Trust yourself. Trust what you get. That's because as you get, as you trust, you get more. As you trust, you get more. As you trust, you get more. Always. You know, because they know you're ready. So, all right. Jessica? Peace, joy, gratitude. Longing, everything, wanting, flowers in the rain are washed away and the light escapes the dark. Flower bed of gratitude grows. Spirit guide and meditation allow it to come through. Takes her purpose, finding space, loving, and unconditional. Excellent. I What I suspect you could probably meditate on any one of those words and, mm -hmm. and get more and more and more, too. So, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Michelle. Um, I uh, before we did that, I was just making some notes um, about sketch more outside more and then write more question mark, and I just asked my higher self what they wanted me to know, so that just told you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great. And then I then I got don't linger. Don't linger. <laughs> <laughs> well, the foxes might. Object to that. <laughs> you know, they they like you to linger. So thank you, Erica. Um, worry is the source of sorrow. Aligning with God means no fear, no reason to fear, no reason to worry. Trust, my dear. Always trust you will be okay, and then you will. Then it will happen. Align up and with me. Make this more of a habit. <laughs> okay. Have you been worrying a lot? I, I, yeah. I okay. It's getting All much right. better though. Okay. All right. Think. Uh, I'll. I'll give you a visualization. Maybe this will help you. Okay. Um, the object of your worry. Mm -hmm. Think of the fact that when you worry, mm -hmm. it's like sending a dust cloud mm -hmm. to them. To that situation yeah okay and instead you know how Tinkerbell comes in on a bridge of light mm -hmm. and the stars mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. see your heart opening up and that bridge of light mm -hmm. going to the same place instead of the instead worry. of the worry yeah because oh, effectively lovely. it's mm -hmm. the outcome is going to be the outcome mm -hmm. whether you worry or whether you don't worry mm -hmm. and our, our tendency is to worry mm -hmm. you know and so effectively, but if you see this bridge of light, uh, you know you're actually doing something to help them. Mm -hmm. And so because the vibrationally, they will get it, mm -hmm. whoever it is that I needs like it. That. 
you know. So it it's it's a it's a huge difference. Mm. It's it's and the outcome will be different mm. for you because you'll relax mm -hmm. and they'll relax. Mm -hmm. So Trust me, I have tons of that. I mean, it's like when I, when I say something every once in a while, I hear, are you listening? Are you paying attention? <laughs> so it's like, okay, yes, I get it. I get it. That's why it comes up and everything. Right. Uh, so my higher self appeared embarrassed and wouldn't speak. Oh. Wow. So effectively what that tells me is that you're connected all the time anyway. Yeah, that's how you get hurtful. Hurt. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you got, I guess you'll have to do yeah. with that what you want to do with it. Okay? And Amy. Okay. Um, I am always here to support your every move. Please clear your mind and try to hear me. I will not force my views on your free will, but will make gentle suggestions and provide guidance. Together we make a great team, and she saves my life. Yay. <laughs> That's perfect. Lovely. Yeah, we all could use more smiles. I, I swear, the emoji, I, I discovered that if you do three of them, you get the bigger ones. You know, if you send three of oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if you send four, you get little ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you send them after your message, you get a little one. So I, so I never send more than three, but I send them independently. Right? You know, because I, I just, yeah. I love those little emojis. So, you know, and the smiley face is probably, what, three dozen of them, yeah. you know, yeah. Of, yeah. of the different types. So yeah. great message. Okay, Linda. Yes. Um, my higher self um, said, it wants me to know that I am being guided my job to provide calm and to focus, to get the messages. The answers are there. I need to pay attention and meditate more. Everything will come through at the right time. More presence, more calm, and health, openness. Excellent. Calm is really important for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need that more than anything. Yeah. All right. Maybe add that to your to your big big, one, big calm. word. <laughs> yeah, calm. <laughs> if it's not already there, put, put that in too. Okay. All right, Crystal. Um, I got um, practice connecting with me on a daily basis. I'm here for you. Trust me and give me your burdens, and I will make your life here on earth more pleasant and bearable. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect message. Okay, Joe. I got um, trust yourself. You have enorm enorm enormous courage and power. Do not stop believing that anything you imagine is yours. Each time you question, each time you are afraid, you lose your vision. May you always believe. May your courage guide you. May wisdom accompany you. May joy be the essence of your life. You are. Excellent. You are. I am. And I. I that, always repeat that. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll give you a very simple little um, prayer that I include in my morning prayers. Uh, it's, it's a very powerful prayer. It came from the Complete Ascension Manual by Joshua David Stone. It's, I am the soul. I am light divine. I am love. I am will, I am fixed design. Repeat seven times. What is the last thing in there? Fixed design, sacred geometry. Okay. So because uh, effectively if you look at the flower of life uh, and Metatron's cube, every single shape in the world is embedded in that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and if you want two um, books that are absolutely outstanding about sacred geometry, um, it's volume one, volume two by Drenvalo Melchizedek, and it's The Ancient Secrets of the Flower of Life. And one is a blue one, one is a purple one. 
Repeat that, the ancient secrets. Secrets of the flower of life. And Drunvalo, D-R-U-N-V-A-L-O, Melchizedek, M-E-L-C-H-I-Z-A-D-E-K. Uh, I met him in person. He's a walk-in, and he came in from the 16th dimension. And he said it took his soul billions of years in Earth time to make it here to the planet. He traded places with uh, a walk-in is somebody who uh, doesn't have to be born, can trade places with a soul of a, of a person who has become discouraged and wants to leave the planet. My understanding is Abraham Lincoln was a walk-in. Um, the uh, Benjamin Franklin was a walk-in. Uh, Ruth Montgomery was the one who brought the concept <coughs> to it. She goes, what, strangers amongst yeah, us? I'm not sure. She had a couple of Right. She, she was a Washington Post reporter, and then she left for the uh, Midwest. No, I'm sorry, far west. Far, I think she went to California, uh, Colorado or someplace like that. But aliens among us, strangers among us, uh, really excellent writer, you know. And uh, uh, But the... Um, Drunvalo has was teaching a class called The Flower of Life. And the students kept saying, we need a book, we need a book. And that text came from it. And I've read both volumes twice, because each volume is about 250 pages. Um, and it's a big book. It's, it's, it's like a spiral notebook. Um, but and it's, it's really, it's jam-packed with every single Every single facet of sacred geometry that you could ever want to know is in there, you know. So really, really, really kind of neat. So you said the "I am the Soul." What book is that from? You said the complete. Oh, complete Ascension Manual by Dr. Joshua David Stone. I have the first. It's. It's. I think it's in Volume One. I have the first okay. four. I think he, he wrote about 15 of them, and his particular gift was to take um, a very high esoteric material and kind of boil it down to some very simple language, mm -hmm. so that was his gift. Yeah. And uh, then he could, uh, so we could like take Alice, Alice Bailey's work and put it into plain English. Uh, take the, the Madame Bl Bl Blavatsky, mm -hmm. uh, her work, and put it into plain English so that you could e easily understand it. Everything. So, okay, so we finished with Crystal. So, Joe. Oh, you ready? She just went. You yeah, just yeah. went. Okay. Yeah, so turn. then, Kelly. Yeah, so I got this. I, I had never really thought about my higher self, so that we, and I don't get a lot of visual stuff, so it was kind of cool for me to get this visual of myself <clears> that I was like, had these like Grecian like gown thing on and all these flowers around my hair and I just long blonde hair. <laughs> like, Trust that because that's similar yeah. to something I got. And then, yeah. and then this is weird. So <laughs> and she says, Kelly, I want you to know that you are a priestess. You are the light of God to those around you. You are able to flow this light through yourself to a very high degree. You shine brightly and you need to stop hiding. So many people in your life have tried to bring you out of the background so you will learn this. Let's do. Oh my God, uh, that's another message to <laughs> make bigger and frame and reread daily. You know, because it, uh, are are you involved in metaphysical work or or, or do you still I, well, do? Well, I'm starting to get into it. Okay, okay, really important. Yeah, you you have a soul contract for that, so mm -hmm. to do something you haven't found it yet, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm to trying do something. to figure out what it is. So right, right. right. Okay. So you kind of have to dabble in everything okay. until something appeals to you. Okay. That's and typically uh, one of the things that I I have discovered is uh, most of the time the people who are attracted to my classes are the teachers. Mm -hmm. So it's like I, I feel I teach the teachers mm -hmm. and uh, and rays of healing the same thing. You know the people that that come there uh, so effectively. Um, Every Monday night, mm -hmm. I'm a minister at Rays of Healing, and they uh, we have different speakers, and some of them are actually nationally known mm -hmm. speakers, uh, and so from 7.30 to like 9, 9.30, uh, we have, um, you know, 
somebody very interesting presenting. So you might want to consider that. Raceofhealingchurch.org. Okay. okay. So, all right. Um, Joanne. Okay. Um, stay cool. Don't sweat the small stuff. And then it got very, very cliche. So it was easy breezy. Go with the flow. <laughs> it's all downhill. <laughs> That's okay. It is okay. <laughs> because you know what? You remember that. It's easy to remember yeah. when when that, especially don't sweat the small stuff. And because uh, what do they say? It's all small. It's all small. I mean, in a hundred years, is right. it going to matter? A hell of beans, what we stress about, you know, so and everything. Because I can, I, I once told this to somebody, to, to Crystal, I think, I did tell it to you, um, that when I first started a massage, and this is after, what, 10 or 15 years in real estate, my skin was so taut that if you pressed it, you couldn't dent it. I was like steel. And that wasn't from working out. <laughs> so it was stress. <laughs> it was stress. And you couldn't even dent it. And the, the person who was working on me, she was like five foot two. And she channeled her former husband because he, he passed in spirit after one or two years of marriage. And because I, I kept thinking, how do you get the strength to, to, to go in as deep? Because she even did a rolfing session on me. Yeah. And I said, you know, because she's a bitty little thing. And, uh, and she goes, I channel my, my former husband. And I think, well, if that's one way to do it. Because <laughs> she would go in so deeply that she actually worked and it hurt. I mean, this, this lady is gentle. The, the, the first gal hurt, but I, I needed it. I, she had to do that to get me to, you know, just let go of the tension I was holding on to. So anyway, so that's that's great stuff. Oh, I'd rather that than it's all uphill. Don't get out of it. Right, right, exactly, exactly. All right, Tim. I got don't be afraid of seeing spirits. Ah. And believe it is okay to take chances. Excellent. Okay. Well, I have the same problem. I've, I've already told my guides, don't you dare show up in the middle of the night when I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> don't you dare, you know, because I, I, I'm not crazy about seeing uh, spirits. I, I, I sense them. I can see them in my mind's eye, but I don't want to see them with my physical eye. There, but I don't want to look. Right. Right. But you know. You're saying it's okay to look. Okay. I don't want okay. them even in there. Right. <laughs> right. It's like, nah, I, right. 30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Too hard to take. I asked Wanda once, uh, my teacher, um, why uh, why am I so afraid of seeing ghosts? You know, because I work at, at Sacred Circle on Wednesdays. There's four of them that are floating around. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I get a shadow that passes through the bathroom, and, <laughs> and I know no one's in there. Sometimes there's music in the next room. I know no one's in there. <laughs> and, and so uh, she said, oh, well, you had a Romanian lifetime where they did nothing but tell ghost stories. They scared you to death. <laughs> so, I was a little girl. Yeah. So anyway, so that's going you know, to affect you. Yeah, everything. Exactly. I empathize. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. Georgia. Um, I think it just came from source because all, all I could, it was just like white light. Um, you're in school. You're still learning. Be easy on yourself. Take it one day at a time. Okay. Great. And that's fantastic. I'm going to just pass these out. Go in opposite directions and I know I have extras but yeah and I thought I would try this class one more time uh, I, uh, if if uh, channeling your guides this is your personal guides including your power animals, including your Yay. totem animals, you know, so yeah. that, that uh, and 
what I thought is I would tell you at least who I see, because I know I, I did for Joe, yeah. uh, what the uh, power animal and, and uh, is for you, because I can usually get that quite easily. So, um, or you might know, you might know. Your power animal, I'm sorry, your totem animal is the animal you were born with, and that's an animal that stays with you the uh, throughout your lifetime. Power animals come and go as you need them, because effectively, um, they, you know, there are different characteristics of different animals. And um, so I thought that I would include that and anything else that came up in the interim month. But that's mm -hmm. that's kind of what came to me today. So, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Extra. Extra? Okay. All righty. And anybody else have anything else that they want to share? Any comments? So the power animal class is another class. Yeah, well, yeah. it'll be channeling. Yeah. It'll still be a, a channeling class. Yeah. And we do set these tables up. I I like the tables. And Gina, I, I didn't know until today that that they raise up and, and go down because we really needed a, a table last time. Yeah. Um, another table. But <clears throat> it was taller, and I thought, nobody can write like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know? and, and so Joe all of a sudden, and Gina says, oh, well, we can lower that. And I thought, oh, you can? <laughs> so anyway, so we, you know, she's got three tables, and it's, it's perfect. Yeah. You know, it's mm -hmm. absolutely perfect. Yeah. Because even if a few more came, we could just spread them mm -hmm. out right. a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more. So anyway. All right, and I thank you so much. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you, and, thank you uh, so much. This was, I always I love this. these yeah. classes. So. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Thank you. And with